Hey Tesla YouTubers, uh, Michael Romano here. I got an update this morning for my Model 3 and um, just wanted to go over it real quick. I'm gonna throw up this video just in case anybody's interested to see what's included. This is version 10.2, uh, 2019.40.50.1 and um, this is the latest software update. Um, I'm not sure how widespread this update is. Maybe everybody got it, but just in case uh, it hasn't come to you yet, I thought I'd go over some of the notes to show you what is included. The update took about 25 minutes. And starting from the top here, I won't read everything. I've got a pretty nasty cold, but just to give you an overview of what looks like what's included, uh, they've updated voice commands. So you can say things like climate, set temperature to 70 degrees, turn on the passenger seat heater, Vehicle, you can say adjust my right mirror, open the glove box. Navigation, you can say let's go to work or something like where are there nearby supercharging stations. Media, you can say play the Beatles. I think that's, that's always been uh, there. I like this. This is actually great. One of the examples they give, search for Joe Rogan podcast. <laughs> yeah, rocking the Rogan podcast. Uh, communication, call David Lewis, uh, send a text message to Evan and then other, show me the rear camera, open autopilot settings. So looks pretty interesting. I'll have to fool around with that later. <clears throat> I can see one problem already is that if there are certain things you can do with voice commands but not other things, it's gonna be a little bit confusing probably at the beginning to know the limitations of what you can do and what you can't do. I've got Google Home you know, and Google Assist and uh, you'll ask Google to do certain things and you'll think maybe she's more advanced than she really is. Uh, but, hey, I mean, I won't knock it. That's pretty cool. It looks like a cool update. I especially like the setting the climate. Uh, that's pretty handy. And things like opening the glove box. Phone improvements. I heard about this online. So apparently now uh, you can read and respond to text messages using your right scroll wheel button. I had read online that actually it'll read the text messages out for you. So let's see if it says that. Yeah, it can read them out loud. And then you can respond by speaking out loud. I'll have to experiment with that, but that sounds very cool. That sounds very advanced and good for you know eliminating distracted driving. Camp mode. All right. Your car can now maintain airflow temperature, interior lighting, as well as play music and power devices while in camp mode. Uh, to enable camp mode, tap the fan icon, keep climate on, camp while your car is in park. Big batteries rock. I'm taking this down to the Redwoods and gonna try that out, that's awesome. Stardew Valley, looks like a new game. You've inherited your grandfather's old farm plot in Stardew Valley, armed with hand-me-down tools and a few coins you set out to begin your new life. Can you learn to live off the land and turn these overgrown fields into a thriving home? So looks like a new game. Nice, backgammon, cool. That looks like a classic, I'll have to play that later. That looks like a classic screen, very nice. Uh, voice keyboard. You can now use dictation to input text in your car. Simply tap the microphone icon on the keyboard to input text to a text via a voice control. Now, I heard about this just this morning. Tracks version 0.1. In addition to creating visual masterpieces with the Tesla Sketchpad, you can now make audio masterpieces with tracks. Save dash cam clips on honks. If you honk your horn, it'll save the most recent clip. That's pretty cool. Driver profiles, additional navigation settings are now saved in your driver profile, such as volume levels for navigation voice guidance, as well as traffic display settings. And then lastly, new language support. You can now select Danish as your language. Oh, I've been waiting for that because I don't speak a word of Danish. That'd be, that'll be great. I'll, I'll learn Danish for that. To update your language settings, tap on controls and then select uh, the desired option from the language drop-down menu. And then this is from all older updates. It also says here, this release contains minor improvements and bug fixes. Now the one thing I wanna look at right now is tracks. So it looks like tracks is gonna be hidden under the toy box menu. There we go. So you've got the more cowbell, the fart app, uh, reindeer, here's tracks up in the corner. So tracks is up, looks like it took about 30 seconds to load. And you've got, I can see already here, you've got an 808 uh, drum machine, synth bass, and saw wave. Looks like you can add other things. But let's go ahead and start with the 808. 
I think this is going to be probably easier to program with step programming than to try to do it in real time. So there's a glockenspiel. Here is a saw wave. It's actually got polyphony. That's pretty cool. At least three, four, five. Wow. So under the selection of instruments, there are beat samples, drums, guitar and bass, keyboards, strings, synths, winds, and others. You gotta see what others. Burst noise, choir, koto, lasers, siren, starship, synth brass, tenor sax, and vocal synth, and vocal ooze. Let's do vocal ooze. That's hip hop one. And then more beat samples. Let's go under rock one. So it looks pretty straightforward. It doesn't look very sophisticated. It's not quite garage band, but it's a free update. Looks like fun. Um, I think it'd be a lot more involved than Sketchpad, but I guess if you're supercharging for 30 minutes, you could probably master, um, you know, a, a song of your liking. Going back to the other updates. Um, We've got under entertainment, let's go back and take a look at, here's Twitch. So it looks like a nice interface. I'm not super familiar with Twitch. I've only been on there a little bit to look at a local comedian, but uh, it's kind of like a more hip version of YouTube for watching usually uh, live streaming and video games. So back to the uh, updates here, uh, the, the overview. You know, just as a reminder, if you haven't bought a Tesla yet, uh, these updates are free. They come periodically. Uh, there isn't a set schedule. It's kind of like uh, Christmas when they randomly sort of pop up. And, um, you know, the nice thing about it is it doesn't really, I've never found any of the updates to bother me. It's not like they take away features or make features worse. Usually it's nothing but improvements. And I, in the comments, you can mention if you've ever had something that they tinkered with that you didn't like the so-called improvement. But every time I've seen an update, it really has been a true update and it's been a positive you know, change. So that's some good news. If you don't already own a Tesla, another reason to buy one is the software updates are just amazing. And so there you have it. Those are the updates for software version 10.2. Again, 2019 4050.1.